It's time for business now. Madison Reedy's joined me in the studio. Let me just move my cuppa so I can see what we're talking about, Maddie. Um, yeah, so a botch up by Inland Revenue means that some BNZ customers are left owing money. Some 45,000 of them, possibly. So we actually got some calls recently from some BNZ customers. They contacted us and said oddly that their BNZ investments were missing from their inland revenue tax statements. That obviously made our ears prick up. So because typically a statement should have uh, a list of all of one person's investments, uh, including things like term deposits that people can have with banks, uh, also their savings there, and, and the amount of interest that they would have earned from any uh-huh. of those investments, being them possibly shares and dividends and the like. Uh, so what it should detail in a tax statement is the amount of either resident withholding tax, income tax, all of the taxes combined uh, that you are then uh, meant to pay. Uh, so BNZ actually did send this information to Inland Revenue, but there was uh, about 45,000 people's information uh, that was sent to Inland Revenue wasn't actually processed uh, correctly by Inland Revenue. They've said that it was a human error and that has resulted in obviously incorrect tax Ooh. bills being calculated. We don't necessarily have uh, have a solid figure on how much uh, is owing and Inland Revenue says it's going to work with these affected BNZ customers. So basically the tax woman or tax man is now paying catch up and coming after those people in the nicest possible way to pay tax on assets. A surprise tax payment mm. that they didn't know they would have had otherwise. Eek, that's going to make some people very unhappy. Um, let's move on to Bendon. Now, they're having a bit of a tough time, the company. Eric Watson, we can't rely on him to bail them out. No, not this time around. So Bendon's holding company is called the Naked Brand Group. Now, that's actually interestingly, it's an Australian based company, uh, but it is actually listed listed on Wall Street's uh, NASDAQ, which is the tech-heavy exchange uh, in, in the United States. Now, it announced uh, to the Securities and Exchange Commission, which is the, the authority in the United States, that it's actually looking to sell some of its brands. So it's hired an Australian-based firm to consider some interest that it's received in buying some of its more successful lingerie brands. Some of those brands might include Bend On being the obvious one, also Heidi Klum Intimates, Pleasure State, Davenport, Hickory and Lovable. To any men listening, I'm sorry, you probably don't know what any of those are, but it's bras and lingerie, sometimes swimwear and sleepwear too. Now, Bendon has 33 stores in New Zealand. It actually has a total of 400 staff here, including a warehouse facility out by uh, Auckland Airport in South Auckland too. It actually does generate most of its revenue in this country, despite being listed on, listed on the likes mm. of the NASDAQ. But the Naked Group is in quite the financial rut and facing a tumultuous time at the moment uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, In the financial year ended in January this year, uh, it had a net loss of $49.2 million. That was off the back of a previous annual loss of about $37.5 million. It needs to raise money immediately. Its liabilities exceed its assets by $19 million. But it is uh, trying and in discussions with its bank to increase uh, and extend its debt facility. Uh, But that might be a little bit tricky because it actually did breach its uh, banking rules Mm. and covenants with its its bank over the past year. And interestingly, coming back to Eric Watson, obviously we know that he uh, was a previously majority majority shareholder of Bendon and and, and the Naked Group, Uh, but they've said that they can no longer rely on Eric Watson's Cullen Group for financing because he is facing what they say financial difficulty. Now one could guess that that is because he's been loaded with a $112 million tax bill from the High Court uh, in March, which found that he was uh, liable to pay that uh, for some historical uh, what they call tax avoidance. Uh, and uh, interestingly, on top of all that too, uh, the Naked Group is facing being dumped uh, completely from the NASDAQ exchange. Now, the NASDAQ has warned uh, that its shares are trading too low and they're too cheap uh, and they could uh, become something as to what they call a penny stock. Uh, and basically, it's too cheap to be on the exchange and and they have uh, probably about six weeks to rectify that. Wow, grim, all round. OK, let's take a skip through the market. Uh, the NZX Top 50 Index closed up a whole percent tonight. Uh, that had a rise of 112 points to close at 10,650. Huge numbers we're seeing there. Uh, the New Zealand dollar is buying at just under 66 US cents tonight, uh, 95.3 to the Aussie and 53 British pence. Thanks, Maddie. That's Madison Reedy with our business update.